guys, Russell Maniac, aka Blu ray Maniac. I love a ta da ta da. Love ta da. Alright, sorry. Um, it's really early, and I'm going to Walmart for more Blu rays. The addiction is real. Pardon the vibration, I just got a text. Um, uh, yeah, here's the situation. There's my word again. Woo! Uh, I've made several different clips and on my excursions to Walmart. Yesterday I went to Target twice and Best Buy once because Best Buy had double points for the reward members. It goes on today too, so y'all be sure to take advantage of that. And I also found out if you're a reward, uh, like the, you know, the VIP one, then it's triple points. Um, but here's the deal. I had issues with all those those videos for some reason. They're not wanting to convert, so I'm just basically going to do this clip and one more clip, which will be the haul. Um, I've got to get another uh, another phone for one. I've dropped my phone so many times. You can see the the organs of it are exposed. But, um, but yeah, here's the, uh, <laughs> there it was again. I almost said it again. Um, one of the main reasons I'm going to Walmart this morning is that. Um, uh, if y'all notice from the Visual Maniacs video, the appearance of Fender, the Siberian Husky, and um, Kramer is the one you probably heard more than anything, the Golden Retriever that we've got, the Lab, whatever you want to call it. Well, I dropped, my toothbrush fell on the floor somehow yesterday, and he was using it as a chew toy this morning, so that's pretty much his now. He can have the toothbrush, so I'm going to go, i got to get me a toothbrush, and um, that's not really, I mean, that's the main reason why I'm going, but of course I'm going to buy more Blu-rays. The deal is, I've made, I've picked up several steel books. I picked up several $5 titles, some 788 titles. Picked up several $5 titles from Target yesterday. Um, picked up three or four titles from Best Buy because I had a $10 reward zone certificate. Um, and we're getting close to the epic status. So, um, and by the way, shout out to everybody for, um, sub into the new channel um i haven't had internet all weekend that's why i haven't been able to respond jordan's doing a lot of the responding but what i'm going to do is once i get my internet back um i'm going to upload the contest uh, you know uh, drawing um i'll shoot that today this will it'll be up after this one this is going to upload first but um so you'll find out who won the contest um and also, I'll get on there from the Visual Maniacs channel and, and sub to all of you guys that subbed back, like like you know, like we always do. I just haven't been able to get on there really, um, and I can't I can't use my Wi-Fi because we don't have internet. And then on top of that, I've I've maxed out my data for the month, and it, it ends tomorrow. So I'm not trying to pay any extra money. Anyways, that doesn't mean nothing. Okay, we're talking about Blu-rays. All right, um, just watch the thing this morning. John Carpenter, the original, and uh, which is Django Spiders. One shout out to you, homie. One of his favorite movies, if not his favorite. Um, and I have to say, it's an awesome, awesome film, man. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, don't know what to expect from this from the remake. I heard it's actually a prequel. Um, I'm sure it won't be as good as the original one. You know, they never really are. But that was, it was a great movie, man. And then last night I watched Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. That movie was awesome. Just the way it was shot was so, was so cool, man. I really enjoyed that movie. Um, what else did I watch yesterday? I was trying to watch Body of Lies, but I kept falling asleep. Not because it was boring, but because I was just tired. So I'm going to have to give that a rewatch. Uh, oh, finally watched the first two Terminators yesterday, and they're both outstanding. I like the second one better, but I enjoyed the first one as well. So, um... Really, I'm saying I'm a lot, but get over it. <laughs> Almost did it again. But, the, yeah, I mean, I I liked them a lot, man. I thought they were really good. I still have the third one. Um, ah, gosh. <laughs> Let me read it. Woo! I still have to watch the third one. And I need to get Salvation. Uh, Best Buy actually had a Salvation Best Buy exclusive with, like, a Terminator head. But it was like 21 bucks, and I didn't want to plunk that down just yet because I don't know if it's if it's if it's that good. But that was pretty cool. I, it kind of just randomly came in because I haven't seen it there in all the times I went to the 
trade and save um, deals. But, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just a little five minute update clip. Heading into Walmart. I actually got to make a return because yesterday I bought a movie twice because one of them was the extended cut and one of them wasn't and the covers were different and I haven't seen these movies and there's like four of them and I haven't seen these movies you'll see it later in the video when I show the haul but so I'm gonna need I purchased one at Walmart and then I got one at Best Buy thinking they were different ones and they're not one's just the extended cut so I'm keeping the extended cut and gonna trade in the other one so um, yeah, look at that hair. <laughs> Got the windows down. That's what's up, guys. Thank y'all so much again for tuning in. I'm over 650 subs. That's awesome. Y'all are the S word. Um, but yeah, guys, next time you see me, it'll be haul time. I might try to throw a Walmart clip in there for good measure. Woo! Woo! Out of Walmart, guys. Just left Mickey D's to get some chicken biscuits. And Melly Yell and McDonald's cuppy. Um, yeah, guys. Just got out of Walmart. Like I said, I, was I took in um, the movie I was going to return. But uh, it wasn't coming up in their computer. It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense when, I, when they scanned it. It said not found. And I didn't have the receipt because I just wanted to swap it for another one. And turns out, because I bought it at white at a different Walmart in their bin, they said some of the Walmarts have different 788 titles than others. So I couldn't return it at this one. I got to return it at the other one. But I picked up four more titles, a 788 title and three of the $5 ones. So, yeah. Next time you see me, Grizzly Adams, Maniac. Um, I'm going to be showing you all my good old-fashioned blue skis. So yeah, guys. Woo! WrestleMania, aka Blue Red Maniac, eleven thirty. Here to do the drawing for the contest winners, as well as Blue Ray Mania episode seventeen, the hall. So first off, I want to say thanks to everybody for entering. Had 24 entries, and all of those were videos, uh, videos, responses. Thank you all so much. Um, everybody got one entry. I'm just going to do it the easy way. That's what she said. I got a really big haul coming up right after this, too. I figured I'd just make it one vid. And I have the winner, everybody. Again, shout out to everybody for entering. And the winner is Django Spider. So congratulations, homie. You want a Blu-ray of your choice up to $30. Um, what I'll do is I'll give you a, a couple weeks to figure out what you want. Um, and I, and uh, I'll have it mailed out to you uh, by the 31st. So give me give me another, about a week, right, a week to 10 days to get everything together. That gives you time to pick out what you want. Um, so yeah, but I want to give a shout out to Django Spider. He's the winner of my contest. But I also want to shout out everybody that entered. Absolute Sublime One. Lautner Dude. Sorry. Jammin 1980, 1998. MSU Top Dog. The Legend of Love Doc. Britton Harrison, Terry W, Blu-ray Subway, Y2J Code Laker, Craig Julo 05, My main man, CM42 TV. XX Space HH. Sorry about I, I can't read my own writing. Shout out to you, homie. Andrew51287. 
got uh, OA Yoder T or Yodert, I'm not really sure exactly. A Knuckle, Jackpots B3, The Movie Freak 226, Big Films 39. Evan Luxemburg, Mr. Dancing Alpaca, The Boston HD, and Eline Coverage Not Cove, I think is what it is. But again, guys, the winner was Django Spider. So I'll leave his link below. Um, Y'all be sure to check out his channel, and homie, just let me know what you want, and we'll get it together. Here's the haul, guys. I'm about to drop your heads. It's a lot of them. What's that? Am I a psychopath? Yes, psychopathic. First, we're going to start off with Walmart. Let's see, I got Walmart pickups here. I got, let me get to the end of Walmart's. Got Targets, and I got Best Buys, and then I got a, I got my Steel Books, and I got one pickup from Buybacks. So I'll go ahead and show that now. This was used for eight bucks, and I've been wanting this for a long time. And it's the Rob Zombie Halloween, the first one, two disc unrated collector's edition. I love this movie, man, and it's got a four and a half hour documentary by Rob Zombie on the making of the movie, which is awesome. So, for eight bucks, had to snag it up, hadn't seen it really anywhere. If there's a slip cover for this, let me know, because I'd love to have it. So yeah, Halloween, the Rob Zombie version. And now we're just going to get straight into the steel books. I showed a couple of the ones that I had. I'm just going to show you all the steel books that I picked up so far. Okay. Well, here's the two that I, or the three that I picked up the first go around. That's Shawshank Redemption, Big Lebowski, awesome, and the classic Scarface. Those are the first three that I picked up. And if you remember, me and Jordan's haul, I had the Hangovers 1 and 2, but I took them back because I'm going to get them later, but I wanted to get some of the other ones that I knew I wanted more, and so that's what I did. And I picked up these five. Got uh, eight total. Got Heat, which is classic movie. Two of my favorite actors, De Niro and Pacino. Got uh, Ben Affleck in The Town, which is a great, great movie. This is the extended cut as well. Another one I just had to scoop: uh, Leonardo DiCaprio with an all-star cast. Is Inception. And another one with Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. A Scorsese film, which I love Scorsese's flicks, and that is uh, The Departed. Great, great, great movie, and a cool still book. And last but not least, Clint Eastwood and Gran Torino. So that's my still book pickups, guys. I got eight of them, like I said. I'm going to get, I'm trying to get all of them, so um, I'm going to continue to go back. And I'm going to get the hangovers again. I just wanted to. I swapped those out just because I wanted to make sure I got those other ones because they were my Walmarts were running low on those particular ones. And shout out to Tony the Toy Collector. Uh, I know I spoke to you before, man. Um, my Walmarts actually got in those four still books finally. Um, I didn't think they was, but we actually got them in, so I'm gonna get those eventually too. I didn't know if we was gonna get them in, and they just got them late for some reason. So shout out to Tony the Toy Collector. He's always making awesome epic hauls. Um, I'll put his link at the bottom too. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into my, uh, we'll do my, uh, my best buy ones. First and foremost I got, this is 40 which I've been wanting forever. Just wanted it to come down in price. It was on sale for $19.99 but I had a $10 reward zone certificate so I got it for 10 bucks. 
this I just got done watching this movie. It's awesome. Really, really funny movie. Great film. Um, it's got the extended and the all. Uh, the, it's the extended version, so it's got the unrated and theatrical versions. Got a lot of deleted scenes. And it's it's really really good, guys. I suggest y'all get this if you're a fan of Judd Apatow films. And next, I got Sin City, which I already have, but the one I have, I got at CD Warehouse, and it's just a single theatrical version. This was only four ninety nine at Best Buy on sale, and it's the two disc version with the unrated uh, extended cut. So I'm really excited about this. Um, so I'll have an I have an extra copy of Sin City. One thing I'm gonna uh, see if Jordan wants a copy of it if he don't already have it, and if he already has it, y'all are more than welcome to let me know if y'all want it. We can trade or something. Yep, yeah, Sin City. Next is a film that uh, I've really been wanting for a while because, I'm, like I said, I've been on my sports movie kick lately. And this is a great, great football movie. And it, it was only seven ninety nine. And it's Matthew McConaughey and We Are Marshall. I, I like McConaughey, man. He, he does a really good job in this movie as well as most all of his other ones. And I'm, I just really love this film. I'm a big football fan, so any football movies I really enjoy. So yeah, we are Marshall. Last but not least at Best Buy is a pickup that I had and I and I messed up. But I picked up uh, Rambo, the fight can matter of fact, I'm gonna tie these in. I went to Target and for five bucks a piece they had Rambo First Blood and Rambo the Fight Continues. Well, I'm not really big. I'm not familiar with the rainbows because I haven't seen them, and I know there was four of them. So I go to Best Buy, and they have this one, and I just grabbed it, thinking it was a different film, but it, it, it actually is this film. This is just the extended version. So I got two <laughs> copies. I got the two. But what makes no sense is this is the regular version, but it's two disc and it's got tons of special features on it. Well, this was the extended cut, but there's no special features. So I'm thinking about just keeping them both. You know. Um, We're all, these are all five dollars, and I got Crank, with Jason Statham. Um, love this movie. I love both of the Cranks actually. Uh, oh, that's what she said. Um, but no, I love this. I love these films. I'm, I'm trying to get all of Jason Statham's movies, which is gonna take a while because he's got like 300. But uh, by the way, I forgot about the 10 minute thing. Whoops. But uh, yeah, it was probably about the Rambo's, but. So yeah, Crank. And another film that I got, and I know this is not the newer version, but I looked in Best Buy, I looked in Walmart, I looked in Target, and they all only had this version. And it's Total Recall. I know there's like a mind-bending edition. I don't know really the difference. But um, this is only 5 bucks, and it still comes with a little featurette. and It's probably not as good of a transfer, but I'm not tripping about it. Can't wait to check this out. And last but not least is a film that I've been hearing is a great gangster film. And it's uh, Val Kilmer, Christopher Walken, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Ray Stevenson in Kill the Irishman. Which I heard is, they're saying, one of the, the, the quote on here says the best gangster film since Goodfellas, which that's one of my favorite movies ever. So if it's even half as good as Goodfellas, it's definitely worth the fiver. So, Kill the Irishman. And now we're going to get into the Walmart pickups, guys. And I wouldn't be WrestleManiac at level 30 without getting WrestleMania 29. Here's the deal. I wasn't going to pull the trigger on it for 25 bucks. That's insane. But um, my buddy works at Walmart, and he hit me up and said that they had a copy that the shrink wrap got taken off of it so they couldn't sell it. They don't know if somebody tried to steal it and got got scared or if they if it just got taken, the shrink wrap just got removed during shipping or something. But they couldn't sell it. So they were going to send it back. Well, they give their employees the opportunity to buy it at a discounted price. So he got it for $10. So he just got it for me. So, yeah, I mean, this is awesome. You notice how they, they do the different, the Blu-ray looks like. That's awesome, guys. Three disc set, or two disc set with the uh, Hall of Fame. Um, you know, the, the, just a great, great set for $10, man. It's a pretty good WrestleMania, not great, but it was definitely worth 10 bucks on Blu-ray, so I'm really excited about that, guys. And now we're going to get into the, the, 
bargain pickups from uh, Walmart. This was in the 7.88 bin, but it only rang up six bucks. And this movie is awesome. They said this was Martin Scorsese's first, his arrival as new filmmaking force, and it's Mean Streets from 1973 with Rob De Niro and Harvey Keitel. This movie is great, man. Really enjoyed it. Um, not a whole lot to it, but it, it was from 1973. And it, I just thought it was great. I mean, I watched it yesterday, and it was really, really good. It's got a commentary with Martin Scorsese and a vintage featurette. So for 6 bucks, this was definitely worth the purchase, man. I love Scorsese flicks, and this is another one that I wanted to add to the collection. And next, we've got some cheese in here. Not not really pimento, but got a, got a couple of cheese. We'll get to them first. I'm trying to get all the Schwarzenegger movies, too. Commando, 5 bucks. Haven't seen it, but I'm sure it's great. I watched the first two Terminators and loved both of them this weekend, so I just got to watch the second, the last two. So, yeah, Commando, five bucks. And speaking of cheese, this this is Kraft Single cheese right here. Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze. I saw this a long time ago, and I always thought it was great just back then. I mean, it's just cheesy 80s good stuff. But uh, So, yeah. Roadhouse. And next, these were all. These are all. Those two were five dollar ones. Those last two, and these next six are two. So we got Runaway Jury, John Cusack, Gene Hackman, Dustin Hoffman. I remember seeing this when it first came out. I bought it on DVD, and I remember liking it then. And I know I like it now because I didn't like. My movie sense wasn't that great back then. Like, I appreciate movies a lot more now that I'm older. But I couldn't couldn't pass it up for five bucks. Next is a movie that I'm I'm thinking it's pretty. It, it might just it might be okay, but I, I'm a huge Jennifer Aniston fan. I love all of her movies and shows. The Switch with her and Jason Bateman. It'll be a cool little uh, romantic comedy, I'm sure. Next is a movie that I've heard great things about. It's Kevin Costner, Demi Moore, Dane Cook, and William Hurt in Mr. Brooks. And it just looks like a really cool thriller. Uh, I'm excited to check this out as well. So yeah, Mr. Brooks. And next we've got another Jason Statham pickup, and it's The Bank Job. This is actually a two-disc special edition um, digital copy, and it's got a lot of features, special features. So I had to pick this up, add it to the collection. So I've got, got a bank job and a crank on this haul from Jason Statham. And next, the next two are Denzel Washington flicks. And like I said, he's my third favorite actor, and so I'm collecting all his films. We've got Courage Under Fire with Denzel, Meg Ryan, and Matt Damon, and The Siege with Denzel and uh, Annette Bening and Bruce Willis. Couldn't pass those up for five a piece, man. And last three are all 788 purchases. We got a two pack continuing with the football movies. We got Friday Night Lights and The Express. Should have picked this up at the trade and save for five bucks, but I passed on it, which is cool. I, it was seven, it was eight bucks, but still. Two great films. I've seen them both. I used to have Friday Night Lights on DVD, so glad to pick those up. And next one is a movie that I almost picked up at the train saving a three pack, and I decided not to, but I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Guy Ritchie film. Uh, it's got uh, Gerard Butler, Tom Wilkinson, Tandy Newton, Mark Strong, Tom Hardy, Jeremy Piven, and Ludacris, and it's Rock and Rolla. Haven't really heard anything about this movie, so if y'all have seen it, let me know. I'm going to check it out this week, though, and for eight bucks, wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Got a cool, got a commentary by Guy Ritchie and a couple of little featurettes. So, and last but not least on the pickups today, we have a seven dollar eighty eight film. That's a Michael Mann directed film, and it's Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx and Collateral. This movie was great, man. Another one I had on DVD a long time ago when it first came out in two thousand and four. Uh, this was just a great thriller, man. It, Totally thinking in my mind, like, what would I do if I was if I was Jamie Foxx, you know? And, and that was happening with me. This is a great film, and uh, I, you know, glad I could pick it up on Blu-ray. It's got some special features as well. So yeah, Collateral. So guys, 
that's the hull. And uh, y'all be sure to subscribe to the Visual Maniacs channel. Shout out to brother from another visual expression. Um, I'm going to put the winner of the contest, once again, Django Spider. So shout out to you, homie. Um, and again, shout out to everybody that participated. Um, I'll be doing another one probably when I hit uh, 1,200 subs. I will do another one. Thought about doing a thousand, but I might wait, space it out to about twelve hundred. So um, that's it, guys. I'm obsessed. Collection updates coming soon, and that's it, guys. Love, peace, and hair grease. Whoop!